Hello, my lovely Aquarians, and welcome to your February forecast for 2021. And happy, happy birthday to you. Gosh, this is a big, big month because most of the planets are in your sign, indicating an opportunity for a rebirth, a reinvention, a new you to emerge. It's like you're the phoenix rising out of the ashes. Most of the planets here, Sun, Mercury, Saturn, Jupiter, here in your first house of you. On the second of the month, Venus joining the party. On the 11th of the month, a lovely new moon happening in your first house. So if ever there was a time for shaking off the old, for getting rid of the things that no longer matter to you or mean anything to you, and for starting fresh, it may feel vulnerable, it may feel a little scary, but at the same time, butterflies in your tummy. This is an exciting time. It's time to take a risk, time to step out of whatever's been comfortable for you. Old smelly socks, get rid of them or wash them very, very well. You might be taking a huge leap in your self-development. Whenever there's a big focus in one house, we must always look at the opposite house. So this is about you really taking care of your needs in relationships. What's important to you? What matters now? Maybe some restructuring to go on. Maybe some new boundaries to be set. And it's time to pamper yourself this month. It's about you, birthday time. So put yourself at the center of your world and then think about the new things that you want to introduce. Mercury is retrograde in your sign until the 21st. So you might be completing certain projects that you began before the 21st, uh, before the beginning of this month. Any negotiations, anything that you've been getting involved in can complete during a Mercury retrograde. It's just best not to start something new during a retrograde. And if you do, and you've got important documents to sign, then just check them very, very carefully. Double and triple check. Now on the 19th of the month, we've got the sun going into your second house, joining Neptune there. So you may draw some money to you, a financial opportunity. Ma uh, Neptune is a magnet. And through your thinking and your visualizing, you can manifest and draw to you something wonderful. You have to watch with Neptune there that money isn't just slipping through your fingers, which can sometimes happen. But it's a wonderful time for uh, an injection of energy and newness into your finances. On the 27th of the month, we've got a full moon happening in your eighth house. So this is shining a light here on anything that you've kept hidden, anything that needs to come out to come out in the wash yes uh, letting out your emotions letting out your feelings now Aquarians you're usually good at saying the things that are important to you but this is encouraging you to be a little more intimate allow people to get a little bit closer to you sometimes you keep the walls quite guarded around your heart and this full moon is encouraging you to open up just a little bit and see the miracles and the wonderful things that can unfold from it. But this is your month. It's exciting. Saturn, of course, square to Uranus. You might be moving home. You might be feeling restless. Might be a time for travel, for planning a trip. All these really good things. And you might just be very active around the home, doing things. So I wish you a wonderful month. I thank you for liking, commenting sharing and subbing. And I will say bye for now.